What is the most disturbing thing to know? Flies don't have teeth. So, when they land on your sandwich and want to eat some, they barf up the contents of their stomach, often containing another animal's shit, so the digestive enzymes can get on the food and then they eat. Anything can happen to anyone at any moment. I had my first seizure at 18. No family member has had epilepsy before. Never take anything for granted. It can all change in an instant. One third of all people who break their hip die within the year. So please tape pillows to your elderly relatives. There are guys with a fetish to cut off their penises. There's even a subreddit dedicated to it. I found out about it a few months ago and it still haunts me. That there are parents out there that willfully sell their children into sex slavery or force them into prostitution. The value of a human body. There is value to the human body as a commodity. And different parts of our body are worth different amounts, while corneas are small, they fetch a large price 15,000 pounds, or about $22,450, whereas our skeleton garners significantly less 5,000 pounds, about $7,483. The price also depends on whether the body part is sold for specimen use, transplants, or on the black market. The mineral value of our body is like $3 bucks. The youngest person to ever give birth was 5 years old. Lena Medina just think of what happened to the poor girl. There are about 6 US nuclear weapons that are currently unaccounted for, broken arrow, and several times that number missing from Russia. Edit, I'm being told it's technically empty quiver, but broken arrows sounds at least 30% cooler so I'm running with it. I'd think about most disturbing but almost pre-ground coffee contains a certain amount of cockroaches and other bugs. When they get the coffee beans in Madagascar there's so many roaches living in it that it's too much time and effort to sort them all out. So, a lot of pre-ground coffee is allowed to have a certain amount of cockroach in it. Now you know why some coffee has so much protein. The reason people usually don't scream in beheading videos is that there have been practice runs before. The first couple times they go through the wall process the stop right before cutting. By the time it actually happens they don't know if it's real or not. Organ failure is a far less peaceful death than TV portrays it as. They usually don't just quietly pass in an instant. It takes days, wheezing, rattling breaths, gargling noises from somewhere in their throat, etc. The body makes a lot of noise when shutting down. Source, witnessed my grandpa die of organ failure over the span of a week he was unconscious. Unlike movies, where the person silently lies there and peacefully stops breathing it's quite graphic and disturbing. A raccoon can fit up your ass if it wanted to.